I rise to speak in favor of this amendment. Uh, yesterday, we were successful in capping the emergency financial manager compensation to that of the governor of $159,000 a year. Successful for 17 minutes. And so I'm curious how certain senators justify their flip-flopping on this issue. I read the dailies with great interest, and it was suggested that it was due to one man in southeast Michigan. Really? Also read that a representative from Cadillac suggested yesterday that schools should respond to the governor's massive education cuts by getting volunteers in the classroom. So taxpayers are supposed to count on volunteers to teach their kids and simultaneously foot the bill for exorbitant salaries for the person taking over the district? This bill, without this amendment, creates a whole new class of bureaucrats who are unaccountable, omnipotent over the community or school, not subject to conflict of interest preclusions, and now you're unwilling to cap their pay at $159,000 a year? It begs the question, where the heck is the Tea Party now? Government expansion. If I could ask our guests up in the, in the gallery that this is a place of business and we do have Senate rules, I'd ask that you please respect the rules and not demonstrate within the Senate. Senator Whitmer, please continue. One of my colleagues quipped, well, the voters spoke last November. They did. The Tea Party, from what the message I got, was that they opposed government expansion, which is what this bill does, is government expansion. New bureaucrats with only two days of training, increased taxpayer expense, and decreased accountability and transparency. Isn't that the antithesis of the Tea Party mantra? To put it lightly, it's inconsistent. You can debate the DHS workers' meager compensation and then dole out taxpayer dollars for salaries bigger than our governors? I can't help but wonder. Maybe you're just looking out for your next job after term limits. Heck, all you have to do is know the treasurer, go through two days of training, and you can make over $100,000 more than you are today. And never stand for election and be accountable to the taxpayers. Makes you wonder. We need to support this amendment. It's common sense and it's good public policy.